something awesome happened that I want you to know about. That probably should be the name of this entire channel. Well, something awesome happened and I really want you to know about it. And it has to do with one of my favorite obsessions. It's an obsession with coaches getting caught doing stuff. I'm not talking about doing stuff bad. I'm talking about coaches getting caught doing stuff that's like really tiny and petty. Probably doesn't matter that much, but they get caught doing it anyways. There's just something so incredibly entertaining watching people that get paid millions of dollars to make correct decisions, to do everything possible to win, actually get caught doing some weird tiny thing that might actually help them win you're like you're not entirely sure but it's so unbelievably petty you almost have to respect like the lengths they're willing to go to try to win well one of those types of things happened i'm talking about that marcelo bielsa type thing where he's you know, he wasn't scouting the other team's training he was just like on a walk near the other team's training ground or whatever well now there is apparently a serial offender and it's only fitting that the serial offender is in the league that sounds most like serial syria ah <laughs> it was pretty close uh, somebody has now been caught multiple times attempting to spy on different training sessions in Syria. And I just need to tell you right now, there are pictures of the actual event, which is, I mean, this this is like the Zapruder film, but it turns around and looks at the shooter. Like, this is huge. This is groundbreaking stuff. We have pictures from the actual event. We have descriptions of what they look like. I mean, the mo making it seem even more ridiculously petty and stupid. The person's name, and I want to make sure I get this right. The person's name is, I can't find it, Michelle Arecchio. Now, Michelle Arecchio themselves, not super notable. When you type their name in on Google, you get like somebody that's a pro cycler. You get a, a Wikipedia for the pro cycler. Uh, I spelled the name wrong at first and got the LinkedIn for some doctor, but apparently it's Michelle with one L. Well, maybe they should have told me. I can't read uh, that they should have anticipated that issue. But now Michelle Arecchio is a coach at the club Torino. And this is him. This is what he looks like when he's not incognito mode. We'll get to that later. And I got to be honest, he doesn't look like the supervillain of Italian football. But what he was doing was spying on Roma's training. Now, this is something that I actually think we should encourage because who cares? I, I really enjoy the idea that we get like a Jose Mourinho or Jose Mourinho is getting an update in some sort of like parking garage from some dude that just watched training for an hour. Like if you would actually watch training, some dude's doing like a, what, what is it? A retinata, a rotunda, a rotunda, the building, the thing in, where you stand in the circle and pass the ball around. I can't remember the name of it and I kind of just want to keep going. You're doing that. You're doing a couple of shooting drills. Like, yeah, maybe you have one tactical shadow play session, but most of the time you're just working on the various individual skills and developing your situa your situational awareness in certain situations. Like if you can actually take anything away from that that will apply to your match tactics and try and help you out, then by all means, I think you should be able to do it. That should be an attribute that managers have. The idea that it's frowned upon, as Bielsa said, to be walking near the other team's training session, uh, that is an infringement on my First Amendment rights as an American to do whatever the hell I want, because I'm pretty sure that's what that amendment applies to. Even though this isn't America, they should have that. Right. It, <laughs> I'm going to turn the America down for a second. Right. But the idea that you all of a sudden can't be there, you can't be recording it, and that that's somehow illegal, I think is stupid because I think a lot of other people do try to do this. They just don't get caught. But unfortunately for Michelle, he got caught. He got caught watching Roma's training session. And this is not the first time. Because I'm talking about Jose Mourinho, the same guy got caught watching Jose Mourinho. His first instance involving Michelle Arecchio was back in April of 2023 when he actually went to what I assume based off the way these articles are worded was like some sort of open training session at Roma to try and record the assistant manager at Roma under Jose Mourinho to see if they could pick up any cues that were being passed on to the field as some way to like decipher what tactics they were going to be doing. And he was actually at the event with like recording instruments and he got caught with the recording instruments and told to leave, which is hilarious. Like you were being removed from the premises. I'm imagining some dude with like a giant direct TV dish. One of those guys on the sideline in the NFL with one of those giant things like, oh, this is just for my podcast. Like just absolutely dialed in trying to record the every move and every sound and utterance of the assistant manager of Roma and it didn't work because he obviously got caught and they confiscated everything and he got kicked out so 
it's a failure. That or they just got what they needed and then gave them fake tapes, in which case Michelle Arecchio got away with it. No, but like, actually, though, it did not work because Roma ended up winning, uh, as we can see here, thanks to Google, and Roma ended up winning that match on April 8th, uh, 1-0. And you might be wondering whether Michelle Arecchio spying this second time worked. Well, no, it, it didn't work. They also lost the match again, 3-2. Now, I, I don't know why they just spy against Roma when it seems to be unsuccessful, or maybe the only reason it's unsuccessful is because he keeps getting caught. This is the article's very productive suggestion. Maybe Torino FC needs to drop the spying tactics, or, very important or, they need to hire a better spy than Michelle Arecchio. Dude, how are you doing, like, how are you doing this and it doesn't count? Also, if you look up here, by the way, this is the tweet, or one of the tweets, including a picture of Michelle Arecchio. See, this time, training was not in front of a crowd. So this dude decides to throw on a hood, black jacket, backpack, and cuddle up in between the trees and attempt to record training. That's a coach for a Serie A team trying to record training. Somebody caught a picture of the dude. This guy's awareness is negative 15, right? Number one rule in spy school, don't get caught. Do not get, you got to have the awareness. You got to be aware of your surroundings like a freaking gazelle on planet Earth when you hear David Attenborough's name and the freaking Jaguar is closing in, right? Because that's the only reason David Attenborough would be talking about it, right? And so you know that if you're in enemy territory, you're not blending in with the trees. I mean, they okay, the article said that he was wearing camouflage. That's not camouflage. At least my American understanding of camouflage. He's not even wearing Crocs. Like, how can you properly be wearing camouflage if you're not wearing Crocs? It does look a little cold to be wearing Crocs, but this is terrible, right? I'm expecting a hunter's hut. Like one of those things, like those lookouts, those perches that hunters get when they're trying to wait for a deer. Then you get that thing and you cover it with leaves. Like I, I, I went to talk about this picture later, but I saw it when I was scrolling through this article and I wanted to talk about it now because what the hell, man? My thing is like, no wonder he got caught. This guy looks like a dad who brought apple slices to his son's game and is just sitting on the side waiting for it to end, hoping that he got enough apple slices for everybody. This is the most obvious thing ever. He's backlit here. He's backlit. I mean, I play enough like stealth video games and I'm like, dude, you got, you can't put the light behind you, right? You got to at least have, you know, like get a wall behind you or something, blend in, right? There's some stone houses over there. Wear some fake stones and do that. Or better yet, lay on the other side of the berm and just put up a freaking camera in between those trees. Like this is one of those situations where like, am I ever going to be in Syria trying to spy on another team? No, but I think I could do it a hell of a lot better than this guy. Would I be able to tell you what I was looking at? No, but if you actually want to capture some of this information, hit me up. I can help you out. I could figure out how to do this. Plus, if I got caught by Italian authorities, I could, wouldn't be able to talk to them. And that's what happened to him. So not only at Roma in April of 2023, did he get caught and asked to leave when what I assume was like a fan viewed practice this time he was again forced to leave the premises. Absolutely amazing. Local police ordered Michelle Arecchio to leave the area after he was found filming the Girasi's training from a nearby tree with his hood up. Now, if you're wondering how Daniela De Rossi, who is the new coach of Roma, actually responded to this situation, he uh, postponed the tactics session after Arecchio was caught, which looked to be perfectly honest. What are you going to do? Change your tactics just because Arecchio was there? Maybe he wanted to be found so that your tactical sessions would be disrupted. This is like 4D chess here. He was never trying to collect anything. The tape was always blank. He just wanted to disrupt your training in the first place. He wanted to disrupt practice. All of it's genius. I will literally buy whatever conspiracy theory somebody wants to sell me on this guy because, you know, he looks like a nice, wholesome coach. Some random dude you would assume was just like a data analyst on the side, but he's leading a double life, hiding in trees. Not very well, but he is there. I'm going to start a match spying consulting service, and I'll see you guys later.